The clipper lever, why is it the most important part of fading hair? You can use guards, you can use different type of trimmers, clippers, you can use all different types of machines, but without this little lever on your machine, the fade won't come out exactly where you need it to be. Today I'm gonna to show you why you need to be focused on this clipper lever and why you have to know how to use it if you wanna start fading hair. So the first thing I wanna focus on is why that lever is there. What does it do and why is it important? When you put the lever down, the blade opens. Now when you close the lever, the blade closes. So what does this mean and what does that do for you? You see, when the blade is open, it extends a clipper guard. So if I was to put a clipper guard on this machine and I open up the blade, it will extend the clipper guard. Now extending the clipper guard is so important when you're fading hair. The reason for that is because when you're fading hair, you gradually fade into each guard. Now when you're fading into each guard, you wanna make sure that you're transitioning into each guard. And the only way to do that is to use a clipper with a lever on it. If I was to start my fade off with this one and a half guard and I was fading it in, now for me to blend that out, I would have to use my lever to blend it out. Here are a couple examples. Now we have a guideline here and we have a guideline here. The first guideline is a skin line, the other one is a half. Now when fading hair, you have to create guidelines and blend them out. What I did was throw a number two guard on a machine and close the lever all of the way. Now what I'm doing is basically clearing the bulk so that we can create our fade. Now using a lever, I'm grabbing a number one and a half, I'm closing it. Now to fade into that number two, I need to open that lever gradually. So the lever's closed, I stop, I put it up halfway, I put the lever down halfway and I start to fade up. Now some barbers fade down, whatever way you wanna do it is gonna work is the same exact way. Okay, so now I go all the way up. And now when I open up that one and a half with the machine fully open, it is a number two. See, each guard fades into each other. There's a link in the description with about clipper guards. You can go ahead and click that after this video and it's gonna explain more about clipper guards. Now what I'm doing here, as you can see, I'm starting with the machine closed. As I get higher, I'm opening it up. So I'm using the top of the machine, going into the middle and pulling the lever all the way down to the bottom. So you gotta look at it like top, middle, and bottom. Now what I did was switch to our one guard, smaller strokes, machine all the way closed. And as I get higher, I open it up halfway. And as I get higher, I open it up fully. And what is that doing? That's fading into the previous guard, which was our one and a half. Now, if you were doing this backwards, again, use the same exact steps. So that's all you're gonna do, guys. It's pretty, pretty simple. You're fading hair and you're fading guards into each other. And the only way to fade guards into each other is to use the lever on a machine. Now we drop down to our half, close it up all the way. As we get higher, we're opening it up and it's fading into that one guard that was on a machine before that. Extremely simple. You just have to take your time. You have to remember where you're at. You have to do it in sections if you're just starting out. A lot of barbers do it fast and do it all over the place because they've been doing it for years. So the next thing we're gonna do here is take off the guard all the way, and we're gonna do shorter strokes. We're gonna close the machine all the way. As we get higher, we open it up, and we're fading into that second guy line, which was the half. Now you can see how the lever is so important, guys. You really need this on your machine. You can't get a machine without a lever. And again, if you wanna fade backwards, fade backwards. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Now we can get into tons of examples on how these clipper guards work, but what we did is we posted a video below that has over a hundred and something thousand views on how to use the clipper guards. It's called Clipper Guards Explained. There's a link below the video. You guys can go ahead and click that. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com.